Cambridge Biomedical is very excited to introduce the first in our series of videos exploring different bioanalytical assay techniques. Today, I am also very pleased to introduce Dr. Sarah Bond, who will be discussing PCR techniques. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Cambridge Biomedical's PCR techniques video. I'm Dr. Sarah Bond and will be taking you through the PCR process we utilize at Cambridge Biomedical. This will be a hands-on demonstration and we will be showing our state-of-the-art applied biosystems real-time PCR system. Let's start in our journey through the PCR process. Sample analysis at Cambridge Biomedical begins with a receipt of samples by the Cambridge Biomedical Sample Management Team. Prior to receipt of samples, the sample management staff is trained on an approved bioanalytical sample analysis plan which specifies under what conditions the samples are expected to arrive, that is frozen, refrigerated, or ambient, and exactly how samples are to be stored. A sample chain of custody is immediately established so that the condition and storage of the sample is documented throughout its entire life at Cambridge Biomedical. The Cambridge Biomedical Sample Management staff will check that the specimen tube label matches the requisition so that any discrepancies can be immediately documented and resolved by contacting study management and the sponsor. The sample condition, date, and time of arrival are documented on the requisition and chain of custody form, which is then given to study management. A similar form is used for checking out and checking in samples for analysis to document the temperature and freeze-thaw cycles of the sample to ensure that analysis was performed within the stability of that analyte that was established during validation. Here we're showing samples that have been checked out for analysis onto wet ice. Samples are electronically managed by the sample management staff through the Orchard Laboratory Information System software. Prevention of cross-contamination is extremely important for PCR and therefore, DNA or RNA extraction is performed in a separate room. PCR at Cambridge Biomedical is performed in biological safety cabinets. Here we're showing the cleaning procedure we use for biological safety cabinets before use. Pipettes are cleaned and inspected for calibration prior to use. Here we're showing an example of a DNA extraction procedure. Samples are vortex and then transferred to pre-labeled DNase-free tubes. The patient information is checked before and after the transfer. To isolate and purify the DNA, the sample is first incubated with protease and lysis buffer at 56 degrees Celsius. To ensure reproducibility, the temperature of the block is verified and recorded. Samples may also be treated with RNase at this step, depending on the requirements of the assay. Samples are briefly centrifuged to remove the droplets of condensation from the caps, and then ethanol is added and samples are loaded onto DNA purification columns. The DNA is then washed and then eluded from the column into DNA's free tubes that have been pre-labeled with the patient information verified against the requisition. Tube labels are checked both before and after the transfer. Here we're showing an example of a PCR in a 384 well format, although Cambridge Biomedical is also equipped for 96 well format or array cards. Master Mix is loaded into the 384 well plate in a separate hood to prevent introduction of amplicon into the reagents. Back in the sample preparation hood, extracted DNA is then loaded into the plate. The plate is then sealed and centrifuged to ensure that the PCR reaction is at the bottom of the wells for optimal excitation and emission.
The data are collected and stored directly onto Cambridge Biomedical's secure data archive drive. Raw data may be exported from the VIA 7 software in Excel format for further analysis or reporting, as required by the sponsor. Reported data are then QC'd against a secure, unmodifiable PDF that is generated by the ABI software. Thank you for watching this video. We welcome comments and suggestions for other topics. Please email us at video at cambridgebiomedical.com.